There are fields in which we are globally uh, competitive and doing very well. Environmental sciences is one, health science is another, and of course astronomy sciences. So our uh, publication record and uh, recognition by our peers in those fields is fairly robust uh, and significant. In fact, in astronomy, uh, the performance has been extraordinarily good. For the first time, Africa is going to participate in a significant scientific project which will result in global research infrastructure located on the African continent. South Africa must be very wary of being a neo-colonialist in any of you know, the work that it does. We already, uh, I think, one of the bigger development partners of African countries. Uh, but that is a duty, you know, that we must undertake because South Africa would not be free if we'd not enjoyed the uh, comradeship and support of all our brothers and sisters on the continent. We need to see uh, African uh, uh, scientists published in all world journals and also developing, you know, their own books, uh, writing articles, but I think getting on and into the best would be what exists. We do have a number of journals uh, on the continent, in education, in the humanities, in the social sciences, uh, and I'll be the first person to celebrate when you have a majority of African uh, writers, scientists writing in the Lancet, uh, in the scientists, in all uh, international journals, because then, uh, when you see that, you'll know we've arrived. I think science does best when it's done in collaboration. We shouldn't forget to look at the demographics, because if it's invisible, in your head as a political uh, uh, head, then no one else is paying attention. When the call went out, signaling this interest in women researchers, the vice chancellors who didn't know that there are these women researchers in their institutions suddenly discovered them. You must take the definition of maths and science as gateway subjects very, very seriously. Because if you have the key to the gate and it opens, the paths you can follow are so many. And so I say to young people, please, do take maths and science seriously, because they really will offer a vista of opportunity uh, that you haven't imagined as yet. So it was a very good lesson and it's an intervention that I think has dynamized uh, and really excited uh, women researchers in our country.